I have a, a young son who's four and he's a very sensitive little guy. And, um, my, my biggest goal in life is to raise him in a way that he can feel all of those emotions and experience them and maintain that sensitivity. And because I think the world needs more of that. And I think, yeah. um, you know, I think you're so right how formative these concepts can be in shaping who these boys become when they do turn into men and how it influences even their friendships, you oh, know, yeah. and how, um, how, for example, like the relationship that I have with my friends are so different than the relationship my husband has with his friends. <laughs> and I think it's, I, I think it doesn't give him as much richness in his life as it gives me, for example. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, through this process, I've been trying to lead from the front with my friends and all of them have really stepped up as what their capacity allows, you know, telling each other, we love each yes. other more and being there for each other. But like, I, I really find it's, it's difficult. And a lot of men, as they get older, kind of limit themselves from saying like, I'm having a real tough time right now. Like they feel, they yeah. feel guilty to say like, you know, you know, my yeah. wife and I are going through this terrible thing because it makes them seem weak and, and all these things yeah. more like, the, the idea is that like everyone goes through, through these things with relationships and like, and that's one of the main things like, cause I would never say that like women's relationships are, are better than men. Cause I think they're totally different. And yes, but one thing that male relations are definitely missing is that like, sometimes you really don't feel like your friends have your back because they're so, they're so yeah. cut off from themselves and their, and their friendships. So like women like use their friendships as support and strength exactly. and kind of men yep. become totally divorced from the closeness they have as boys. Like the friendship with boys, mm -hmm. there's, in, there's interviews and studies of how like how emotional and verbose boys are when they're talking about their friendships and how I would die without my friends and all of these things. Mm -hmm. And like they kind of just lose that over time because of how we mm -hmm. define friendship. So eventually they just don't feel safe around men anymore. Like it, I didn't expect yeah. to be completely kind of devastatedly sad for what, what we do to boys in, in, in most yeah. cultures because of these things. So like, I don't, I don't have any kids, yeah. but like, I completely understand your yeah. like focus on wanting to keep that, you know, that beauty in, in your son. Yeah. Wow. I'm just sitting with everything you've said. And, you know, I also think another big part of that is that I think for women, some of these, um, I, I think like there's certain aspects of relationships that women have that are practiced more. So for example, like we get together, we talk about everything all the time. All of our emotions, our anxieties, our fears, like, you know, everything from like sex to, you know, our kids to our own personal histories. And, you know, some of my friends I've grown up with, so they, they've seen me grow and evolve. And some of and the same with my husband, he has friends who he's grown up with, but because as groups of women, I think we practice conversation and vulnerability every day, every time we're together. Right. And I don't think that happens as often. Like my husband, whenever he hears like all the things we talked about, he's like, oh, we, I never talk about that with my yeah, friends. Never. Never. Yeah. And I think it's because it's just not practice. Like I think that to your point, because it wasn't, Maybe that's because it wasn't demonstrated for them. Maybe it's because they have, you have, they have, been, men have been, boys have been caged at such a young age where they haven't had the ability to really stretch those muscles. And so they don't even know how to use them. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, I think there's part of it. Like, I, I, I don't think there's really that many studies on this, but like, I think there mm -hmm. is a slight biological component to it. Like, where I, I think women are, more conditioned for community building and, and things like that. But if we look mm -hmm. how boys like come out of the womb, like they're more fussy than girls. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they are, they mm -hmm. are more sensitive. They, they, they need a lot of love. And unfortunately yeah. we treat a lot of boys in society like they're going to grow up into emotionally stunted men. And so it becomes this vicious circle that like, if yeah. they're not mirrored the same thing from their caregivers that the parents would do or teachers would do to the, to the, to the daughters and these are like well-intentioned yeah. parents these aren't i'm not talking about like really hardcore traditional masculine sort of parents this is just like well yeah. this is a girl she's delicate so we're going to teach her treat her with love and if she cries we'll accept it or if a boy does it we need to make him strong for the world so we're going to deny him these these feelings like it, it it's it's 
yeah, mm. it's 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 mm-hmm. really messed up. And so I I, I don't is. know exactly, you know, I don't think anyone knows exactly the the reason why it's so the friendships are so desperate um, or yeah. disparate, yeah. Or however you want to say that word. Um, yeah, but yeah, but but I think I think a lot of it more than we accept is from just socialization. 